Ron Maines here for my father, David Maines, and we are in Ezra chapters three and four today on this two-year journey through the Bible, and our key verse is three, verse 12. But many of the priests and Levites, Levites and heads of their father's houses, who were old men who had seen the first temple, wept with a loud voice when the foundation of this temple was laid before their eyes. Yet many shouted aloud for joy. Today's reading tells a story of tragedy and triumph. The people followed a two-year plan of worship and work. The foundation of God's house had been completed. It was time to rejoice, reminisce, and express hope for the future. The destruction of the original temple by the Babylonian king Nebuchadnezzar had not hindered the worship of the true God in the people's hearts. In fact, the opposite was true. The 70 years of captivity in Babylon had purified and intensified their fervency for God. The circumstances demanded small group gatherings. Eventually, this would result in the development of the synagogue movement. Even before they began the construction project, they set up an altar to express reverence and obedience to God. Building or no building, God's people will always find a place of personal and, if available, corporate worship. Our prayer for today is, Lord God, like the people who gathered around Ezra's vision, sometimes I weep and sometimes I shout for joy. You know my heart and my mind. I pray for grace and consistency to worship you at all times and all places. Amen. Be sure to follow us online at 100words.ca. More commentary from David Maines. God bless.